Well, this season in preparation, we've got uh, 62 spreaders loaded on uh, trucks to, to uh, apply the salt to the roadways. We've also got four trucks that have brine applicators mounted on those, so we can use a brine solution um, on the roadways if it's a lighter storm, so we can address it that way. We have 9,500 tons of salt in stock right now. Uh, we have funding in place to stock well over the 12,500 we normally like to keep. Um, it takes around 200 people to run our 24-hour shifts. That's in two 12-hour shifts if we would come in for a full-scale event. Um, we also have uh, you know, the mechanics on hand that would run 24 hours around the clock as needed. And some of the roadways that we do are, are the main arterial streets, um, you know, like your 21st, 31st, Memorial, Mingo, and we also address the Tisdale Expressway and the Gilcrease Expressway. We do not do the interstates that run through the city. Those are the responsibility of ODOT. And uh, we have uh, pretty much everything ready to go in case we have an event at this time. Right now with this system coming in, we're still looking at the temperatures are kind of borderline. Um, if we need to, we'll place the crews on standby before they leave today. But by the way, this has come in with so much rain and it looks like it's gonna rain before it transitions. The brine will not really do any good because it'll wash off the roadway. So this type of system would be addressed with salt. We would have to have individual vehicles out running the salt instead of the brine. And if anything at all, it looks like this may just be a bridge or overpass type scenario. So that's what we're looking at right now. And we'll see where the weather holds by the end of the day. If this weather does hit and we do have to initiate the employees out there doing that type of uh, job, spreading the material, give them the room to work. If you don't need to be out there, don't be out there. Anytime it gets close to freezing, take your sprinklers off automatic, run them on manual because we have had a lot of issues with you know, freezing water in the streets due to the sprinklers. And uh, sometimes that happens where we're having to bring people in just to address those situations and we're not getting snow or rain but we have the moisture from the sprinkler systems. You need to keep in mind that they are emergency vehicle out on the roadway, so do not pass them. They're running with their emergency lights. Um, give them the room to do their job, uh, especially if we would have snow or ice event and they're plowing or something like that. At any time, they could hit something that causes that plow to veer to the side, which would damage the vehicle if you're passing them. And in that case, you're passing an emergency vehicle, which is illegal. So just stay back and give them the room to work. Um, when you're behind them, give a good distance, a couple hundred feet, because there is salt that's coming out there, um, and do not want it to damage any vehicles.